to resist temptation. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James chapter 4 verse 7. Satan still comes with his temptations to the children of men. He employs every means at his command to conceal himself from view, and this is why so many are ignorant of his devices. A few days since, the question was asked me, do you believe in a personal devil? I do, was the answer. Well, rejoined the questioner, I do not believe that there is any such being, our evil thoughts and impulses are all the devil we know anything about. But, I asked, who suggests these thoughts? Whence do they originate, if not from Satan? Just as surely as we have a personal savior, we have also a personal adversary, cruel and cunning, whoever watches our steps, and plots to lead us astray. He can work most effectually in disguise. Wherever the opinion is entertained that he does not exist, there he is most busy. When we least suspect his presence, he is gaining advantage over us. I feel alarmed as I see so many of the youth yielding to his power while they know it not. Did they but see the danger, they would flee to Christ, the sinner's refuge. Aim to be faithful students in the school of Christ, learning daily to conform your life to the divine pattern. Set your faces heavenward, and press toward the mark for the prize of your high calling in Christ Jesus. Run the Christian race with patience, and rise superior to every temptation, however grievous it may be, that shall come to you. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and if you are desirous of taking the first upward step, you will find his hand stretched out to help you. It remains with you, individually, as to whether you walk in the light of the Son of Righteousness, or in the darkness of error. The truth of God can be a blessing to you only as you permit its influence to purify and refine your soul. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James chapter 4 verse 7. Submit yourselves to God today so you can resist the wiles of the devil.